All right, turning now from in-store to online, my next guest is tracking the pulse of online retail giants like Amazon and 1-800-Flowers. He says recent data suggests the so-called e-tailers may see an upturn this holiday season. Sounds like good news. Eric Best, the chairman and CEO of Mercent, a provider of online technology and service for retailers. Good morning, Eric. Good to see you. Hi, good morning, Alexis. So are the e-tailers winning the game here in this recession? They taken advantage of the consumer? Well, we're definitely seeing a, uh, an increase in year-over-year -year sales in the uh, third quarter, and that's good news. It's the first quarter in five quarters that retailers' year-over-year -year growth has increased. We saw 11% in Q3 up from 6% in the second quarter. But to put it in perspective, last year for these same merchants, earlier in the year in 2008, we were seeing 20, even 30% year-over-year growth. So it's a modest increase. But it's an early uh, indicator for us that we're going to see some moderate uh, improvement this holiday season over last year. You don't break out third-party sales, or I know some of the vendors that you work with, like Amazon, don't really break it down for the consumer. But, I, but I, I've seen some of the data that suggests that you're really seeing some action, particularly on sites like Amazon. Work, walk me through those third-party relationships and how that's proving profitable for some big e-tailers. Yeah, so maybe six years ago, seven years ago, Amazon opened up their e-commerce storefront, of course, to third-party merchants. And that program, the third-party seller program on Amazon, now uh, accounts for more than 30% of Amazon's total online transaction volume. So you have more than 10,000 third-party sellers that are selling on Amazon. What we're seeing from our data, we help merchants sell through that program and others like eBay and uh, Microsoft's new Bing cashback program and Google. Uh, what we're seeing is that Amazon is really leading the charge. They're, they're just uh, compounding growth on growth uh, with numbers on the order of 50, 60 percent year over year uh, sales increases for the merchants that are participating in their program. We just think they're winning market share by virtue of their efficiencies and by virtue of the fact that they've established this brand as the place to go and buy online. So, Eric, is this a sea change that we can expect even when this recession ends, that they're going to move toward an e-tail retailing environment as opposed to the bricks and mortar? Yeah, you may have heard that Sears and Walmart have both recently announced their own third-party seller programs. And uh, <clears throat> we think this is a re reaction to the, to the uh, success of Amazon's program. We've also seen eBay shift some of their focus toward the larger enterprise retail market. What's the same this year uh, in terms of the e-commerce space is that re uh, consumers are still very value driven. They're still looking for uh, deals. What's different is that retailers are much more prepared. Inventories are down. Price points are down. You have companies like Walmart announcing their 100 toys promotion, 100 toys for under $10. Uh, and so they're much better aligned this year, we believe, uh, with the consumer and with this value focused uh, you know, deal focus. Eric, we got to wrap it up here just quickly. A target number for the retail holiday season here online. What do you expect? Well, Forrester is expecting 11% year over year, uh, or I should say year over year growth this year. We're going to come in a little bit higher than that. We expect our merchants to come in somewhere around 15%, which is less than the historicals in e-commerce, but it's certainly better than last year. Eric Best, Chairman and CEO of Mercen, great seeing you. Thanks so much for the good news. Thanks so much. Take care.